Now, let me start with the daily graphic and it's reporting this morning. President inaugurates Tema Motorway School Junction Road Project. And that's the biggest story on the front page. No, no, there's another big story there. Drought. Government outlines 8 billion Ghana City agri support. Provides 1,000 per hectare incentive to farmers. If you listen to the business news, uh, an agri economist was giving background to this conversation. Why the 1,000 may be woefully inadequate. Mm. He says even 1,000. Considering the amount of money that they have borrowed and the interest they're supposed to be paying, even 1000 per acre, not hectare, mm-hmm. will not be enough. And that instead of just spreading around, they should target those who really need it. Some, the, the extent of damage is not as devastating as other groupings. But generally, we should agree to increase it because you're looking at some 8 billion in total yeah. for the areas that mm-hmm. are covering it. Perhaps this will be the first level. That's if it gets paid. I'm saying if it gets paid because we are still owing people who we said we will pay from the National Reconciliation Commission's compensations. We are still owing people that we said we will pay from the IRS who was work on part. And I don't want to uh, come to the most recent one in the voter region, the uh, flood disaster. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We are pretended from VRA straight to ministers who made personal pledges true to the 200 million we said w- was going to be released immediately yeah and we had budgeted and everything for it we are pretended that that was the way forward i've heard the claim now that 200 was in and of itself not going to be enough and that we needed 600 million so they don't know whether or not to assess the 200 million or get 300 million for this <coughs> year so that they can get additional 100 million see w- w- we are being unfair to our own people we are treating mm. the matters of importance to people who by no fault of theirs happen to have been victims of some people's, I mean, of course, uh, uh, they would disagree, some people's incompetence. Because we're told in this country that the material data they gave was not properly interpreted or it was underestimated. Imagine. Just last week, Kojo, when I was speaking to the PR for the Agric Ministry, he said, oh, Matthew gave us data, but we underestimated the impact of it. Same thing that VRA said. Oh, well. In the Republic About the flooding, right? So, so, if we impose this kind of disaster on the people, it is only sensible that we do things in a hurry. We do things like we care about them. Yeah, uh, and I'm even I'm even tr- trying to assess the impact on everyone else, not just those who are directly affected. But it's a drought, so obviously it's going to affect the supply of food, particularly grains. At this right? time, more yeah. than ever. Imagine, and you see, <clears throat> at hey, the time that so I was struggling with the five city kinky. Sometimes, just as I'm starting to feel a little bit sorry for this government, another thing happens that demonstrates that they, I mean, the it's self-inflicted, you know, because you had the opportunity to plan for this. But, I mean, when the budget was read, did you hear uh, anything in there about contingency funding for flooding or any uh, mitigating uh, uh, policies to ensure that we don't get impacted heavily by drought, by droughts? Did you see anything like that in the, in the budget? For flooding, yes. We really had intentions, and it's been intentions for a very long time, from mm-hmm. Atacha till now. I mean, even before Atacha, I remember... Uh, Sector Pay used to talk about how much was required, some $600 million or so I'm talking for a project way back then in fixing flooding generally. The Conti project. I, I'm, even yeah. talk, I'm even talking about the flooding that we are expecting from the da- Bagre Dam in the north. Oh, okay. So you're talking uh-huh. about contingency for yes, that. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. I mean, I don't remember seeing anything like that in the budget. I've right? not seen it yet. Mm-hmm. So, so this is what I'm saying, that uh, maybe we miss opportunities to plan ahead and then when the crisis happens, we say, oh, don't blame us. It was an uh, uh, unforeseen, uncontrollable, external factor act of God. You know, and I'm thinking to myself that, no, we do have opportunities to plan for some of these things and we miss them. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and, and it's, not, it's not fair on, the, example, on, on, on the average the, Ghanaian. For uh, example, Dam and all the other uh, <coughs> Precisely. Proper one village, one dams. We had the, we are purpose in to do type some time ago. Precisely. We will not be having these conversations about 21st century people being uh, uh, depending on rain mm. from God to make sure that uh, their, their, their plants uh, give the yield that they want. At the time that we are doing planting for food and jobs. Mm. I mean, it's, it's contradictory at that level too. Yeah. But at least now that we know it's intervention we want to do, Please, this time around, let's not treat it like we have done in times past. Let it not benefit people who have always been beneficiaries of disasters. Mm-hmm. And 
the real people who are supposed to be beneficiaries do not get it. It is unconscionable. We have inflicted enough damage and pain mm. on our people. Okay, Raymond, I have a document in front of me. <laughs> this is a document that says, let me just read it. It says, it's an inventory of irrigation and drainage facilities. Mm. Let me open the phone properly so that I can see it very well. It says, this survey gives both farmers and the government valuable information concerning irrigation and drainage facility management and help those who are carrying out operation maintenance and management of irrigation and drainage facilities on the actual irrigated agriculture field. So it talks about the number of, these are the irrigation schemes. I'll just mention them and I'll do something. Ashaman Irrigation Scheme, Dawenya Irrigation Scheme, Pong Irrigation Scheme, Weja, Apipe, Aveime, Bando Toko, Mankesim, Otreko, Mati, Dedeso, Kekam, Akumadan, Enum Valley, Sata, Sabinja, Tanoso, Botanga, Golinga, and Libga, and Tono, and Via. Okay, let's get to Ashaman. I just do one because we don't have time. Status of operation and maintenance. Listen to this carefully. The main drain, Raymond, is mm -hmm. bushy and needs weeding and desilting. <laughs> the earthen right bank canal needs rehabilitation. The siphon on the right bank is partially silted, leaking and needs maintenance. It will continue. We'll give you everything. Then let's get to the Dawenya Dam. Mm. Status of operation and maintenance. The project is not functioning due to lack of power supply and breakdown of all pumps. The gates, canals, Turnouts, laterals are all in good condition and can facilitate any measurement. Okay, then you get the details here. This is the bone irrigation. Okay, I just uh, uh, you know leave it here. Let me just leave it here. No, I get you. But people are paid to fix these problems consistently. Some people it's their job to deliver on these mm -hmm. projects. There's a ministry with superintending responsibility mm -hmm. for this particular sector. They are okay. They will be paid at the end of the month. But they would have been so derelict in the performance of their duties. It's almost criminal. So let me just get to my point quickly because we'll come back to this. In any serious country, what we would have done? You see, we have these irrigation facilities that we can repair, rehabilitate, and maintain mm -hmm. to actually produce crops all year. We don't do it. Yeah. We don't do it. And so today we're talking about this will cost us $500 million. Because of what, we, I mean, to actually compensate and do a thing or two, get uh, it, it, I mean, grains imported into the country. Hmm. I ask myself, after more than 60 years of independence, yeah. are we still relying on rain-fed agriculture? Ah. The Economic Enclave Project at Kusunya, they're doing something unique there. What prevents us from doing this around, across the whole country? I mean, what's wrong with us? I, I, I just don't get it. I mean, I, I don't get our problem. If you watch, and I like doing those things now because I'm an aspiring farmer, I watch some of the implements that elsewhere mm -hmm. they are using for farming. It makes it even interesting. Oh, yeah. it, the machines that they deploy. And, and we are not talking... Uh, the European countries or in America alone. We are talking India. We are talking countries that not long ago had basically the same standards that we had uh, 50 or so at independent. Yeah. South Korea and coal. Then you ask yourself, we do a lot of talk hmm. with big talk at the core of it, but the reality is that we don't get to act it. We are almost caught between the talk and useless amassing of wealth Crazy. And engaging in uh, pact arrangements. When we had an opportunity to solve this problem, we decided to uh, construct thirsty dams. <laughs> dams that dry out during the dry season. Dugouts is Dug what outs. the minister told us they were. Dugouts. I mean, who? Who would actually go and <laughs> construct that and expect that to help in farming? Yeah, dig a hole. I mean, what can, what, what, what's wrong with I this? used to think it was incompetence. But I've started to realize that there isn't a single one of these people we've put in charge of mm. these decisions who is in any way inept. So the failure must be deliberate. It must mean that someone somewhere makes decisions to do other things with our resources rather than solve these problems. Right? So someone with full intelligence working has just decided that other things are more important because they benefit from those things. But the ones that will help all of us, they are not interested. Let me just mention this other story because it's very important. 
President inaugurates Temamoto Way School Junction Road Project. Now, the I, I have seen the date here, 11th of September 2023. Mm -hmm. I was in this studio. I've not updated what I actually wrote on my phone. Chronicling of broken promises, Akira Temamoto Way. I listed 16 of those incidents mm -hmm. right from 2009. Where we have told people of this republic that we are either going to do it at a certain date or we already started work on it and we have completed a certain portion or we are hoping to do this. But this is in pursuit of the 10 lane that your dear friend, our dear friend, Kojo Frimpon, told us in 2020. We'll actually see some work being done. The test it says man project from 2020 till now should have been completed. Expected to be completed in 2024. In 2024, we are now cutting salt by the executive president again. And we are cutting salt for the second time this year. Yes. Because we cut salt in January this year. Yes. And we are back at it again. This is 2024. We are supposed to have yes. completed this project. Over. The first quarter of this year, we actually cut salt. And we are back again. It's the biggest story on the front page of the Ghanaian oh, Times. Wow. Government begins motorway uh, reconstruction. Project to cost $350 million. At the time when they went for the loan in Parliament, it was a loan of $338 million in 2023. That was what it was expected to cost us. We will we'll ask questions about the variance shortly. But Takosumbo Dam spillage, $200 million released for resettlement project. Looming food crisis, grains export banned. It's not like we export much anyway. Uh, due to prolonged dry spell in eight regions. And Yana Hills government for dedication towards improving road infrastructure in the northern region. You don't use drip equipment for illegal mining. That's the Ashanti regional minister. <clears throat> so he's, uh, you know, taxed, uh, you know, the MMDCs against misusing equipment, especially for activities such as illegal mining. Why would he want them? Is it something that the MMDCs do? We should be concerned that there's a possibility of using these equipment for illegal mining? No, I mean, there was an NMDC that we suspected was engaging or promoting. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes. <coughs> we told a guy that, oh, even though you are doing this, uh, you have a funeral. So go and attend to your funeral and first. Come and explain why. Come and explain why subsequently. <laughs> yeah, because the matters of state can be put on hold. Mm. And you can do a private problems ahead of the collective destruction of our environment. I mean, the environment can wait, really. Anyway, <laughs> now, so that's on the front page of the Ghanaian Times. Right? Let me finally do the Economy Times. CD likely to depreciate further. That's the biggest story there. And Elam Desu explains, as a picture of Mohammed Amin Adams, if you listen to the minister yesterday putting together all the talk and also basically almost contradicting the coco board on our uh, renewed gasto against loans from uh, syndicated loans uh, which happen not to have been the reality on the ground now if you listen deeply you are just worried as a, as a Ghanaian today that the 1 to 16 that we are currently experiencing may not be the end of our problems I'm hoping that uh, the grace of the external currency, the dollar, mm. will, will, will shine heavily on us so that we find some other ways of making sure that we will get to the, at least if or not at all, we will get to the beginning of the times we had uh, one to six CD and take away the 10 and anything beyond that. Hmm. Because it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon. But I'm hoping against hope. And I've reached the point where we need to pray heavily for the currency anyway. Now, macroeconomic indicators to worsen in Ghana, Nigeria through 2024. Audit firm, Ben Well, Koko Board disclaims minority statement that the board has lost financial credibility. That's also what's been reported by the Economy Times this morning, Kojo. Look, I mean, let's go, the 2025 is going to be a very tough year. Let's be real. It's going to be a very tough for whoever emerges victorious in this election.